This is our new 5000 series EFIS. It's a 10.4 inch display, high resolution. Um, the big features on this one is we've gotten rid of all the menus. So autopilot control, navigation sources, heading, barrel course, all of that can be done without any sub-menus at all. If, for example, we can turn on and off the map with one button. We can turn on and off the engine. All the nav sources are here, the lateral navigation. Um, course heading, so if you want to adjust the altitude bug, you push one button, this knob becomes it. Or it also, you can manually enter a knob. So you can put 5,600 feet, enter, and it'll enter direct. So making it much simpler for the user to use. It's a XGA screen, it's 1024 by 768, LED backlit, uh, 1500 nit panel. Currently our products are all VGA 840 by, or 640 by 480. A lot more resolution. We'll be able to put an approach plate up in the corner, the whole plate, and be able to read it and see it. We've just introduced a highway in the sky on our existing systems that have the new processor. So here you can see the boxes. Our altitude bug's a little bit lower here. If you want to be at 7900, you need to climb down and fly through the boxes. If you have a flight plan in the 430, any of the flight director cues or any of the rounding that comes from the 430, we draw that in 3D. We basically have one hardware design, or three different screen sizes. We have the 3400, which is a 6.5 inch display. We have the 3500, which is an 8.4, single knob. And then we have the 4500, which is a dual knob joystick for panning. Um, once you pick your screen size, then you decide what hardware you want. So you can have an AHARS for an EFIS, you can have an engine board, or so you can mix and match the different modules, or they'll share anything as networked together. So you could have one engine, one EFIS, but swap the screens and share all the data back and forth. Um, the autopilot is fully coupled to the EFIS. You can control it from here on off, um, select destination. It'll fly coupled ILS, LPV approaches, or fly the bugs. We've also finished our CO monitor software, so the new unit that'll detect your heart rate, your O2 level, and monitor the altitude and carbon monoxide in the cab in all interfaces. Our 4,500 round numbers is $6,500, and the new one will be about 8,000. We have lots of information on our website, including the new manual, and on all the products at advanced-flight-systems.com.